lot of newlyweds experience these kind of problems, and the key is always in open and Andy, honest communication. Can you be on show of the weekend again, please? What? No, Luke. I'm very busy. I have important work to do. Why don't you ask Jane? She's in her laboratory. Oh, but I hate going down there. At least help me with the door. Fine. All right, on three. All right. Just lift with your spine. Ah. God, how old is this bolt? Oh, give me under this. Come on, you lift. Yeah, I got it. Now push. Uh, no. oh. <coughs> oh, oh, man. Man. <coughs> man, it's dark in there. I don't see any stairs. Oh, come on, it's Jane's lab. There's probably anti gravity or something. Ah! Oh, no, wait, look, there's a ladder. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Thank you for taking the time, Jane. You're very welcome. Coming Luke. up from your laboratory. Always time to talk about what we're we talking about. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Of course. Uh, I completed it. What? Yes, I... Really? Yes, that's right. How long did that take? Uh, it took me not that long. Uh, I want to say maybe sort of six hours-ish. Okay, yeah, because it's not a full-sized you know, mm. game, right? Yes. It's kind of a spin-off type deal. Yeah, I could have played it for a lot longer. Okay. Because uh, I didn't do loads of the side missions. I more or less... What do we what do we say? Crit, crit path. path. I crit pathed it more yeah, or less. Critted that path. And I really enjoyed it with a few absolutely enormous caveats. Mm. It's a co-op game. Mm -hmm. We know that much. I don't feel like it was clearly messaged quite how co-op it is because right. I definitely booted it up thinking like oh, I'm going to play this co-op game in single player. You were thinking optional co-op. I was thinking optional co-op. Mm. It is technically optional in that in the menus there is an option to start a game and then you can toggle this thing to be like offline. I tried that and it's just not the way the game wants to be played. It no. wants you to be playing with another person. So I completed the game playing with online random people. Okay. Which was real highs and lows, I would say. Mm. Like, there's nothing like the thrill of playing a game online in cooperatively mm -hmm. with someone. I even quite enjoy it, even if it's just some random stranger or something, like someone you don't know, no voice chat you or something. You weren't on voice chat with them. I wasn't on voice chat, no, I never did any Probably voice chat. Wise, yeah. But you know, when it's when it's working, yeah. it really works. Like, you know, That's this true. person you've never met and you're kind of going through it, like yeah. helping each other. There's a yeah. lot of like reviving each other and, yeah. and stuff like that. Faith in humanity kind of deal. To counter that, you know, for every time where I would get loaded in and have an absolutely amazing experience, yeah. there were kind of points where I would load in and like the person was just sort of away from keyboard AFK or just like, or just oh, like spinning, or just kind of like okay. running off chasing uh, like something and, and I couldn't figure out what they were trying to do. And, yes. and then they just ran really far away and got wounded and then I got wounded and, and we That's just- That's tough. And then the, yeah. the, with the shared live system where you're just bleeding away lives. Yeah, yeah, we're just bleeding out. A, yeah. a, you know, a, a diff, a different points in the map mm. and stuff. And then on, on top of like natural human behaviour, I don't feel like the game makes very clear at all how exactly it's supposed to work. Right. You're in Paris and you know there are three towers yeah. that you need to take down. Right. And you need to do side missions to uncover ways into these mm -hmm, towers mm -hmm, and that's mm -hmm, the way mm -hmm. to do it. But then whenever I went into an online game, it seemed like the mission checklist was different. I mean, I could never successfully figure out Having completed the game even, what was like my missions and what were the other person's missions and what we were doing. And so I kind of got to a point where, you know, I wanted to go and try and take on one of the towers. Right. But I could not host a game that, and have anyone join. It just wasn't working. Like no if I tried to host a game, right. no one was joining. Okay. So basically over and over again, I would join someone else's game, yes. boot in and be like, okay, we're sort of doing a side Tower mission. Tower time. But maybe like after we've done the side mission, I'll Tower just- Tower time. Yeah, I'll change the thing to be, I'll change the mission marker to be like, Tower, tower time. time? Yeah. Tower time? It can be time time for tower now. It is please? tower time, please. And it just wouldn't happen, like for one reason or another. And I then I bet it was a hosting thing. I bet the yeah. the objectives were determined by the progress of the person you were joining and yeah. they were hosting. Yeah. See I played co op with Mike. Yeah. Which obviously we were uh, we were talking on voice chat. I bet that would so work that was a like lot the optimum smoother. Co op experience. Yeah. It was yeah. really quite fun. And then I did play it on my own for a while, not with a rando, but with an AI yeah. uh, twin. Did you find it soulless? I mean, there was definitely something missing. If it were a soul, who is to say? I think it suffers because the AI is not super smart. The AI co-op uh, yes. companion is not super smart. And also it's much less 
linear, which I, I love about the game in itself, that the environments are more kind of open. And, yeah, so many and paths to get choice, to places. That actually shows up a less than adequate AI, worse than if it was a corridor, shoot some things, shoot some things. <laughs> Oh, I'm out. I'm here. Let's get you back up. I found the first few hours really frustrating, but okay. I kind of I, I kind of kept like banging my head against the wall and, and eventually through sort of trial and error and occasionally like like I think the second tower I did, I just joined a quick match game yeah. and I was just jumped into the tower and I was like, oh, I haven't really yeah. figured out. I haven't really figured out the sort of like secret way into this one, but we're in. We're so in I'm now. helping some random person do this, and so I did it. And, and it when got... you did it, it counted for your yeah, progress as well. It counted for okay, me on okay, my progress. Yeah. I did the first two of the three towers. Yeah. The third one, I got booted in, and I was with. If you're out there, Snowman, which was some. The username was like some. Snowman. It was Snowman something, something, yeah, like that. Yeah. So we, you know, we got booted in. Never seen this person before, and we sort of, you know, like just try, try and do the thing, helping each other out. Mm -hmm. But in the way of these things, over the course of the mission, we really developed a great sort of non-verbal communication nice. system. Nice. I really, really have to praise the pep mechanic in the oh, game. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. But you press up on the D-pad to just sort of give a little, a little thumbs up, and you it has. You kick an ass, sis, and yeah. then you get a uh, health yeah. boost or an armor boost. Yeah. yeah, and you can choose the boost that you're giving, but it's it's much more useful as just a kind of okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a yeah. pinging and okay, like yeah. all good. If one of us was lost and then found where they were going, it was ah, like ah. ping, ping, yeah, yeah, or it's yeah. kind of, you know, after a battle encounter, ping, yeah. ping, which is not when you need the combat boost, but no. it, it just turned into more of a kind of like, yep, Makes yep. me think of, you remember the single button communication in Journey? But, but it, it, it's it reminded enough. you that's a real person. Yeah. And... I found that it was actually really expressive. Mm. And so me and Snowman basically cleared that third tower, yeah. kicks into a cutscene, uh -huh. which then takes you through into the end game sequence. Dang. It's maybe sort of like a, maybe like a two hour kind of mission. Mm. Got up to the final boss with Snowman, yeah. my buddy, we'd done it. We were, we Come were, on, Snowman. Come on, Snowman, we can do, we can, <laughs> we can do this man, ping, we, ping, we're ping. all ping, ping, yeah. ping, ping, ping. Uh, and then just like PSN disconnected, no. uh, like like that. And I, I was like, Snowman, no! <laughs> as we were sort of separated permanently by the kind of. Oh no! Couldn't um, you look up your recently encountered other players and add maybe, them to your friends list? Maybe, but I didn't. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, if I'd have thought of that, I probably would have given yeah, it a go because yeah. I would have liked to try and jump back. I'm not, in. yeah, I'm not making excuses for the game. That's I know. Uh, when I booted back in, yes. it had completely forgotten that I'd done the third tower. It had forgotten that I'd, and Yay. yeah, mm -hmm. and My so third I, tower. so I sort of listlessly tried to get into a few more quick matches. Yeah, yeah. Went back to the kind of like, no, this person's doing something else. Jump back in. This person's right at the start of a really long story mission that I've already done. And in the end, I just turned the difficulty down, set it to AI mode, More and like just like a robot twin. And robot. yeah, and just mm. steamroll. Rolled yeah. through. I basically was oh, just sucks. yeah. I was just by, just steamrolling through just to get to the final boss yeah, again. Yeah. Got to the final yeah. boss. At that point, I couldn't be bothered to switch it off easy mode. So I was just like, Bleh, you know, yeah. and that was it. And that and was then the, I game. Finished the game. And then I finished the game. When Aww. it was working, man, it was working. It's so much fun and uh, like just the, the the feel of it. And the twins are fun. Like the, twins the dialogue are great. is cute and yeah, I love fun characters. Yeah. Yeah. I assume we're going to see more of them in future Wolfensteins. Mm -hmm. We ain't kill no Nazis. All right, Arthur, they don't need to know that. What did you think of the RPG stuff? I thought it was fine because it, it's overwhelming at first, but it's quite like touch in the end. Like once you get your head around the fact that it's like, oh, okay, so I earn money and with money I can make my weapons better mm -hmm. and I get skill points mm -hmm. and you have mm -hmm. like a few mm -hmm. skill trees and it's all stuff that you, that is sort RPG of- RPG light kind uh, of. It's very, very light. Another way of saying that is it lacks depth, but for me not really liking, <laughs> for me not really liking that stuff. If you're not here stuff, for an RPG. Yeah, yeah I'm not here for an RPG, so yeah. I don't know, I, I know that Mike wasn't super keen on the RPG stuff. One, he he, he not hates that stuff, RPG yeah. Guy. One of the things that is frustrating is that it's, it's just not suited to an online co-op game. Ideally, right, you would, yes, yeah, yeah, ideally, I'm just gonna yeah. hold up, I'm gonna spend my points yeah. now. But the game all the time is like, points to spend, points to spend, yeah. up men, you have, <laughs> you like, have now, 94 weapon upgrades. Yeah. I really enjoyed it when it was working, but it wasn't. It feels good, right? It feels good. It's the, the same Wolfenstein that feels good to gun shoot. It feels good. The characters are cool. The level design is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I love the twins, and I, I really hope that, that we see more of them. They're really, really into like these these British detective series or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's basically a stand-in for like some sort of Doctor Who 
like some slightly cheesy Harry Potter-ish sure, young sure, adult sure. series. You're telling me you haven't read the covert adventures of Arthur Pennington and Kenneth Van Holshauser? Man, what rocket you've been living under. Here, take it. They're fans. They have a fandom. So they have a kind of naivety and a and like a. While a, at the same time hatching. A, yeah, while at the same time kind of yeah. like just. Keep slaughtering the Nazis like there's no goddamn tomorrow. Just yeah, there, there's a kind of like. An interesting tension. I see. What time is it? I think it's time for Arthur and Kenneth to illustrate this sticky wicket. <laughs> I really liked um, the last Wolfenstein game. Yeah. But it, it's it's dark in places, like quite deep and like in a yeah. way that I really enjoyed. Yeah. But quite melancholy early on, at least. All of it gone. In one moment. Yeah. It's nice to be playing a Wolfenstein game, yeah. not in BJ Blazkowicz's head, Aww. because uh, much as he's so cool, I love him. He don't is, get me wrong, but you know you're going through a level, and, and he's like, oh my god, the, like the dad we, stuff. Yeah. And what then... are we gonna do? We, there's no way out. Of yeah, this my body's anything. dying. My body. Uh, just give me the strength enough to okay. finish just my mission. Give, give me your angel strength for just <laughs> one more mission. Yeah, so it's quite feels, nice. It's right quite now. nice to just yeah. be like, yeah, it's a nice good job, sis. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, a yeah, bit more. Yeah, it's got a kind of um, like grindhousey, kind of inglorious bastardy. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, feel to yeah. it. Right. Yeah, there you go. Good fun with enormous caveats. Mm. But Jane, it's a Bethesda heavy week because from talking mm. about Wolfenstein Youngblood, yes. guess what else happened in Bethesda news this week? Qu QuakeCon. They Quake, that's right. They did a QuakeCon. They did a Quake, they've only bloody they gone and the done con. QuakeCon. Right? The con got quaked. Yeah, Real so it's good. an all Bethesda convention that that's started with Quake and now it's all the Bethesda games, which is... Yeah, which it well, which is which now is... Dooms 1, 2 and 3 on Switch with no <gasps> notice. They didn't call you. They didn't tell you. I get no respect. They didn't say Luke. No respect. <laughs> Heads up. No regard. Neither. Dooms are coming. <laughs> Doom 1, 2 and 3 are out now on Nintendo Switch following a surprise launch from publisher Bethesda and a welcome one for any show of the weekend planners trying to figure out what to theme a show around when oh. there's not much out right now. What a treat for you! What a treat for me! Yes, thanks Bethesda. Doom 1, first released in 1993, is credited as one of the most influential games ever, especially in a genre that arguably wouldn't exist without it, the first person shooter. Mm -hmm. Jane, what was the first first person shooter you ever played? Oh, is this for points or...? No, there are no points. Oh, okay. You haven't done one of these quizzes in a while, nothing means anything. <laughs> oh, nothing means anything, it's right, just, right. At the end of it, you can say, hey, the time, there's a bit further on in time than we were before. <laughs> that's all we can ask that's for, we, any all, of us here. That's all we achieve. Makes, My first, first person makes shooter. Makes the time go away. Um, <laughs> I reckon it was like a cover disc, probably, for yeah. uh, Wolfenstein. Or oh, yeah? okay. Hexen. Do you remember Hexen? No, but I'm hanging on Googling it now. Oh, man. Whoa. It's like a magic FPS. Oh. Yeah, eat what's cooler than guns. Magic. <laughs> yeah. You know, back when you didn't really play whole games, you just played like a little a little bit of a game that the you good got times. in a free CD. The good yeah. times. So I, I feel like it was Hexen. Hexen. That, I have a strong you? memory of Hexen, and that may have been the first one that I got my mitts on. So, Great. Yeah. Love it. Jane, the Doom series has a special place on this channel okay. since it was here that we first revealed the shocking but now widely accepted theory that Doom Guy, the guy from Doom, is actually linked from the Legend of Zelda widely series. Accepted. Widely accepted. Academics agree. It's like the theory of evolution in that it's only nominally a theory at this point. Jane, I'm putting you on the spot here, but can you come up with your own video game fan theory? Oh, I have to come up with my own? Yes, and unlike mine, it's allowed to be tenuous and not true. Oh, God. Oh, okay, wow. Um, hmm. World of Warcraft shares a universe with, wait for it, Halo. Okay. <laughs> wait, does that... Yeah, no, I'm nope, going you're committed it. now. It. It's done now. You've committed now. Uh, now, now Master find... Chief exists in the same universe as the world of World of Warcraft. Okay, let's begin now the thing in that kind of okay. like weird way that human brains are so easily tricked. Okay. Immediately, my mind is, is flooding with validations for this. Okay, so, so the alien race from World of Warcraft, who are the Draenei, yes. come from another planet, right? Yes. Uh, they came on a spaceship. Yes. That race is one of the races in the alien alliance that is known as the Covenant. 
they form part of the Covenant hierarchy, yes. uh, but they're not part of the, the sort of warrior caste of the Covenant, which is why Master Chief never has to why shoot we don't and kill see them. any Draenei. We don't see them, they're like, of uh, yeah, they're in like catering or cleaning or HR or some other department of the Covenant. The yeah. Draenei are from Halo. The Draenei from Halo. They look okay, right? Immediately, the world of World of Warcraft and Halo. Yep. Very similar color palettes. Yeah, that's that's how you know. That's how you know for sure. That's the proof. That's the proof. That Mattel sort of like brightly colored. You know, yeah. the Covenant have the needlers and the yeah. you know, like you know Mattel looking guns. I can see pinks it. Pinks and purples. I can yeah. see it. A lot of Halo looks like it could take place in a sort of night elf wood. Mm. Coincidence? You know? Think so. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> also, have we ever seen Azeroth, mm -hmm. which is the world of, the world of, world War of world Warcraft? World of You're Warcraft. imagining the map right now. I think yeah. we've got a map. There we go. The yes, continent. that's right. We've got a map yes. of the continents. Have we ever seen yes. the shape of whatever planetary structure <gasps> that is on? Could it perchance be a... Could it be stretched out and turned into a ring shape, a.k.a. a halo? Undoubtedly. It's a ring world, everybody. Undoubtedly. It's a ring world of Warcraft. Oh my god. I'm convinced. Well, good, as you should be. <laughs> the early Doom games are known for their outlandish enemies. Okay. Creepy denizens of hell that want nothing more than to tear a chunk or two out of you. These enemies often have weirder names. Jane, I'm going to show you some early Doom enemies, and I Ooh. want you to guess what they're called. Oh man, okay. Okay. Right. And if you... All right. If you don't I'm know, free associate. Yeah. Gonna do like free word association. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, say what you see. Catchphrase what's, style. What's this? Uh, okay, that's um, Club Camo Man. Club, <laughs> Club Camo Man. What's this? Um, okay. Uh, uh, Naked Muscle Man with glass spikes. Naked mus Muscle Man with glass spikes. That's an imp, actually, in Doom. That's an imp. Look very impish to me. And the previous one, Miss yeah. Muscles, Muscles Camo Club. What was Club he called? Camo Man. Club Camo Man. That's a zombie man. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. I guess zombies can wear club camo. What's this? Okay, that is, um, that's uh, Diablo. Di yeah. That's just a Diablo. I, I mean, it undoubtedly is a Diablo. It's a cloven footed it's actually, Diablo man. In Doom calls it a Baron of Hell. I mean, that's guy. another word for a Diablo. Yeah. Oh, that's a Beholder, right? Is it not called a Beholder? Um, Probably is called a Beholder or something oh. really similar is called right. a Beholder, but in Doom that's oh, it's, um, a... Alright, it's, it's uh, Spike Krang. Spike cr Spike Krang. <laughs> is that a, tur a Ninja Turtles? Yeah, off of Ninja Turtles. He got spikes and then he... He got spikes and became... And now he flies around and isn't in the chest cavity of that thing that he lives in. <laughs> no, he's Spike Krang. Spike Krang. Yeah. Oh, very funny. It's a, it's a caco demon in Doom. Oh. But what is this? That is a... Um, uh, that's a decal from a really cool car. From like the bonnet of a really cool car. In in it's Doom, a vinyl sticky decal. In Doom, the they call it a lost soul. I love this oh. guy. Don't you oh, love? Man. Don't he's, you love this whole aesthetic? I love that aesthetic. That he's so into it that his spine has become exposed. Yeah. And he's like ripped his midriff open. Yeah. It is a solar plexus demon. Solar plexus demon solar is good. Solar plexus demon. It's good. actually called an arch vial. All right, what's this? <gasps> oh my god, it's a. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a robot spider brain demon. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to say his name is um, uh, Mr. Paddles. <laughs> <laughs> that, if it, if the wiki was said Mr. Paddles, <laughs> I wouldn't. I would not have batted an eyelid. No, it's like it's like spider. Robot brain demon. Or In fact, it, it is yeah. an arachnotron. Arachnotron! Which I think is more boring than Mr. Paddle. <laughs> All right, Jane, can you remember the very simple. Well, this is your final question now. Right. Can you remember the very simple three word instruction given to the Doom Marine at the start of 2016's Doom, one that summarizes his particularly brutal and direct fighting style? Rip and tear. It's rip and tear. It's rip and tear. It's rip and tear. Mm -hmm. The phrase is synonymous with doom, but now mm -hmm. it's time for you mm. to face a rip and tear challenge. Okay. As you rip and tear. This, this craft paper oh, to make. I was hoping you were going to say cheesy ch tear and share bread. Oh, that would Rip be nice. And tear this yeah, now we're just going to eat rosemary, thyme, we... olive. Oh, lovely. Cheesy share now, bread. Now we're just going to eat share and tear pizza. Okay. No, Jane, nothing could be farther from the truth. Okay. You're going to rip and tear okay. to make your own Doom Guy collage. <gasps> here, collage? That's right, what? because here, look, is. What's happening? The cover for the original Doom. Oh, minus with, the with Doom Guy oh, photoshopped out. Oh yeah, where has he gone? He's normally here. Wow. This demon's holding on to him. Look how much preparation you've done. I know, so much preparation. It's he's just... been 
He's been magically removed. He's been climbed out of existence. That's right, and you are going to rip and tear this crepe paper. Oh, I will give okay. you some Brit stick, and you're going to make your oh, own Doom Guy to put back in the it. scene. Is he? I feel like there's a, there's a more skin on display. In the classic, yeah. In, in, the, in this original iconic yeah. Doom imagery. Yeah. He, is he like shirtless or is it just like ripped shirt? I think he's got a bit of midriff. Would you like oh, to see? Oh, it's like Padme in that bit on Geonosis, right? He's like, oh no, I'm sexually revealed yes, he's, by this demon has yeah. ripped off some of my shirts in a sexy, sexy way. He's sexily. Sexily. Yeah, that's exactly oh, it. Oh, yes. That's exactly what's happened. It's Padme. It's, it's Padme, Padme, Padme's people. sudden midriff shirt. <laughs> it's a simple Padme situation. It's a simple Padme, right. Well, in that case, I'm going to rip a midriff area. Rip and tear so that midriff. So you can see his abs. He didn't do all those crunches, so you don't see his abs. Damn straight. I think he may have ripped it himself. Here you go. Uh, I'll, I'll put yeah. this down there for, do for reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a okay. Sharpie as well in case you want to... To draw the on. abs on. Yeah, like and Britney for, style, draw and them on. We have some googly eyes for the end. Oh, man, everything's better with googly eyes. Oh, I'm I can just, see it's coming, I'm getting there. coming together already. Okay, and now for an ab patch. Yeah. I'm drawing his abs because oh, yeah. everything has to proceed from the abs. Yeah. If you don't have a six pack, how are you going to defeat the demons on Mars? So we start there from it is. this. We start from the six pack. <laughs> Perfect. And <laughs> that already looks quite good. And a <laughs> pair of arms. Okay, yeah. I might draw good. his biceps on in a minute, but I'll okay. see how I'm feeling. So we're going to go for his sort of like quarterback shoulders, like he's wearing yes. football padding. But that's what. That's it's what. All that's what it's all like. natural. It's all yeah. muscle. Right. Okay. Yeah. We've got one saucy muscular thigh. Oh yeah. And there then it one is. bent leg, a saucy angle, like a jaunty Yeah. Like, you know, he's got one one bent leg. Now, we don't have the sort of Gun steely yeah. cobalt grey blue. I reckon purple uh, might be. I your think best purple bet. is closest. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go for a lurid mm. purple masky visory space helmet. They don't send, sell craft children's crafts in gunmetal grey. <laughs> Incredibly. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Sorry. You... I, la I laughed and oh, blew you laughed Doom Guy Doom away. Guy all over the all over the place. Aww. Okay. Look, this guy's had. I've never noticed this before. Actually, this guy's mm. fully having his oh. head exploded. Oh look. well, that will happen. Yeah. It will happen. And this guy's like. Mm. Record. Oh, I love this guy. I've noticed him yeah. before. He's like looking at camera. It's like record scratch. Yeah, yep, yeah that's this is me. me. You're, You're probably, probably wondering, wondering how I got, got here. here. <laughs> and then another boot for the other foot. Mm -hmm. Got to have those knee high boots. I want to get sticking and then see where we're at. It's impressionistic. All right. This is now. coming together very nicely. I mean, I I think I found my calling. Oh, his, his chest and torso is mighty big. Head's going in. Head's going on. There's yes. a Doom Man mask. There it is. And uh, I'm going to do the abs next because they're my favourite part. Yeah. And... Uh, you don't need to justify it any more than that, Jane. I'm not confident about the arm, so let's do the thing that is definitely going to be right. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Check those. Four. That rippling six-pack. Look at that. Glistening in the sun. And now his quarterback shoulder pads. Oh, of course. Okay. All right, what are um, we missing? His bare thigh. The bare, we need to cut it, we need to make a little bare thigh. A little bare thigh. And I would say uh, the gun is, is, yes. is notably absent. Yes, yes. And the gloved hand. You're just gonna quickly sketch the hands on, but a lot of a lot of time goes into the ripped thigh. The ripped thigh, <laughs> yeah. I think this is probably one of the um, uh, raciest collages. <laughs> I've, uh, I've ever been part of. In the, at least in the top five raciest collages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to draw on some muscles. Oh, yeah. Some biceps. Four. Oh, the guns, Look they're coming that. out. There and this is his gloved hand going. Yeah. He's like, why? Why, demons? Why are you like why this? Why must we war? Hands are hard. You ever yeah. drawn a hand? Hands are hard. Um, I, I've tried to draw a hand before. I think, I, I believe, Artists and sketch people sort of mm. agree that it is... What, can't be done. Uh, th they can't be done. It can't be done. Yeah, if ever you see what looks like a drawn hand, yep. it's actually a photograph that they've turned black and white. It's very sad, really. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, okay, and then the thing. It's, I don't know what that is. That looks great. So there now, it we, is. now I guess we're just missing the, the gun, I suppose. Yep. What yeah, is Doom Guy cool. without his... Okay, going. a little more muscle definition, Luke. Okay, we'll sorry. Yeah, sure. And then his inner thigh is bleeding or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's wounded. Got scratches on it. Got scratches on the abs. Scratches on the abs. There we go. Oh, Let's nice. Not forget those. Yeah. And then some little detailing on the boots. Mm -hmm. There we go. Got her. Great. And what are we missing? A gun and another hand. Uh, oh, hang on. 
How about this for what's the sort that? of? Oh yeah, the gun, muzzle flare. The muzzle yeah, flare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what's harder to draw than hands? Guns. Guns. Yeah. Ah, uh, have you tried mm. ever being a little boy? <laughs> No. It's mostly drawing guns. Oh, so you're quite good at this then. Yeah, yeah, I can draw a gun. You can yeah. draw a gun. Yeah. Oh, all right, well. I mean, I hope that's a relatable thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luke, I didn't spend all my time drawing guns. Now, I, do you, I, this might be too big, but maybe if we sort of pull no, off No, no, some... no, there's no such thing as too big. All right. Wow, Jane, were you ever right? <laughs> He's finished. That's great. He's Hang on, complete. Jane. He's not quite finished. Oh, no, why? Because Oh. Doom guy has eyes. Oh, I'm glad I didn't draw eyes on him now. In the box art. Yeah, okay. I'm going to need you to mm. give him the gift of sight. Okay. The only ones we've got left are these very small eyes or these very, very big eyes. How about one of each? So <laughs> that would properly communicate quite how surprising it is. <laughs> to find to, to, himself yeah. in hell on Mars fighting demons. Ooh. All right, here we go. Cripes, he on seems the face, to say. My strong googly boy. <laughs> my strong googly boy. My strong googly, googly boy. boy. My son. He's about to be real. Let me see him, Jay. My strong oh. <laughs> I really like it. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Don't talk to me or my son. He is. <laughs> he is beautiful. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. I'm Link. <laughs> oh, he, he said it! Well, a proof if proof he go. needs be. That's great, Jane. Well done. Thank you. This is going on the fridge. Yay! For sure. On the fridge. You ripped. On the fridge. You tore. Yes. We learned a lot about Dooms 1, 2, and 3 on Nintendo Switch. But now it's time to find out what you guys have been ripping and or tearing in the comments. Last week, Luke, Andy, and I were back at server in West London to live stream the always hilarious ragdoll strategy game, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And boy, did it deliver. The These hobbits are getting oh, in no! the. Oh! Wow. wow, a one hobbit got absolutely Out of there. Nailed. destroyed. But there's, clearly, there's a hobbit still alive. Are they firing at. They're firing at this guy. He. Is he still alive? Hit him in on his face and see if he's got Zoom in on his eyes. face. Hit it. Hit him. Is he okay? Oh, he's he's okay. okay! He's okay! Oh, you you he's crafty possum. hobbit! <laughs> <laughs> you crafty he's hobbit! He's in a vegetative state. Commenter Sirejam123 thinks he knows what that halfling is thinking, Jay. Hobbit, this is fine. Well, there was nothing to panic about. After all, ballistas are more scared of you than you are of them. I think that's bees. And if one gets you, try calamine lotion for the itching. Definitely bees. Elsewhere on that live stream, we uncovered a new secret unit, the mace spinner. Let's just look inside it. Maces. Yes. I see maces. It's the mace window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's it. Retire now. Commenter Toby the Human was pretty impressed, Luke. The mace window. Luke, you brilliant, brilliant man. Well, if the comments decree it, who am I to argue? Wait, Luke, who is it that chooses the comments for this section? Never mind. Moving on. Last week's show of the weekend saw Andy giving me an 80 themed quiz for Wolfenstein Youngblood, but not before he spent the night in the studio, up to his own devices. And so it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you Yoshi. Hey, Andy, what's up? Normal things, normal things, all normal. Okay. Okay, then I'll see he has questions about one of the guests at Andy's ceremony. Okay, I'm gonna say what we are all thinking. What the hell happened to Yanni, you monsters? Nothing, Yanni is fine. Uh, is... Remember we dropped the sofa on him that time? Uh, Jane, I think this is a Smashed conversation for another time. it did. Time. But it seems that Yanni about... can't die. Yeah. Moving on. Can feel pain though. Another distressing episode on the channel saw us reminisce about the weirdest things in games we ended up getting kind of attached to. Pets come in all shapes and sizes. Some have fluffy paws, others have scales. Some have theories about the future of Earth as a one world state. Okay, to be fair, only one pet does that last thing, and it's Seaman, the horrible, horrible fish with a man's face. Commenter Otter in My Water spoke for many of us when they said, Oh God, I thought I was free of the nightmare that was Seaman. What is this thing you call Seaman? Oh, it's this thing from the game. Oh. Do you think the internet is dangerous? Hi, it's still talking after the face transfusion. Wow, gotta get this to the lab. Uh, I might stay here. 
Jane, do you remember on the uh, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator live stream, there was mm. that unit that got paused in the end, making that kind of like, who me face? Yeah, like a r reaper. Yeah, well oh, look, yeah. there you are. Oh, There's Prudence, Prudence in that same pose. As the Grim Reaper. Inspired by that weird moment from the live stream. This comes from Twitter user Sun oh, Arctus, who sent this in. Extremely good. Really burying that side in there. Great foreshortening on the legs there as well. That's that's tricky. Oh yeah. Mm. And, and in heels. Great perspective. Yeah, really driving it in. She doesn't even need to look. Doesn't, yeah. Uh, but check out what uh, Dally Daydream sent in, also on Twitter. Look, this is based on, I uh, we went to Disney. Oh yeah. Look, there's like pictures of all of us. Aww. Look, there's me oh, and Mike. Look at Mike's little Mike. hair curls. Oh, and look, he's so happy with his lightsaber. Aww. And look, there's Ellen with all of the water fowl Ellen's that we saw. Little ducklings. And look, there's Andy telling us what's interesting about a ride. Oh, I'm glad he gets a cute pose as well. <laughs> and look, he's got a lo lower third. Ride, ride history, history correspondent. correspondent. He'll be happy with that. That's mm. a promotion. There you yeah, are. Yeah, that's me. Making your famous trademark gesture. There it is. Yep. That's good, nice, good. That would make a great pin, yeah. or a badge, like a little teacup with a Jane doing a death yeah, threat in it. Jane, yeah. Just, yeah, the yeah. little death threat teacup Jane. But you're not the only one who got crafty today, okay. Jane, because look, look at what <gasps> Tabek on Instagram oh my God. sent us. Look, it's the terrible five second Batman drawing that, that, I, that I did. Incredible, is it? What is it, a stuffed toy? And now it's like, yeah, now it's like oh, a it's plush like, felt. I think it's mostly felt. I mean, you can see the capes kind of, yeah, it's yeah. lined and everything. It's amazing. Oh, I bet it feels real good to hold. Oh, yeah. And those to big hug. ears, those big squeezable ears. Yeah. Yeah. And kind of <laughs> asymmetric eyes. I think it's a very, very solid rendering of what was an extremely bad drawing of some kind of Batman. I love it. It's, That's it's gorgeous. That is great. Thank yeah. you very much, everyone who sent in fan art. As always, it is lovely. Thank you. Speaking of mm. D and D, Jane. Speaking as of that. We were, I mean, moments ago, we got some D and D. Bits of news. Updates. Updates. Yeah, D&D and, D and update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a good update, not like a mandatory console update. So, uh, what it is mandatory. It is mandatory, yeah. Strap in. If you try and pause the video, you'll find it no longer it's pauses. It's quite impossible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're in this long haul don't now, check, people. Though. Don't Yeah, don't check. God, don't check. God. And, mm. uh, yeah. Um, Mm. Yes, EGX. We're going to be at EGX. That'll yes. be good. EGX be great. in London in October. In October. It's a games convention, but also we'll be on stage. Yes. Friday and Saturday doing Oxbencher with Johnny. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, we're doing two nights. Uh, as before, when we've done this, you can come to one or both. You won't need to see one mm. to understand the other. It's not a cursed child situation, people. I mean, there might be a, a child might get cursed though. First Child is it. a Harry Potter musical sidebar. Oh, they, uh, they know. Do they know? Of course they Does do. Does everyone know what Cursed yeah, Child is? Yeah, yeah. And what's the other update, Jane? What's the other D&D news? The second and equally exciting piece of news is that there will be a new non-live, yes, that's right, not at all live, recorded Ox Adventure coming to Outside Xbox and Outside Extra before EGX in October. So there will be new episodes yes. on Outside Extra and Outside Xbox of do you remember when we used to do D and D, and it wasn't for hundreds of people? It was just us yep. in a basement. I remember it being equally terrifying somehow. <laughs> the way Wizards of the Coast intended. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we've, <laughs> we're, we're going to have some of that for you coming up real soon on on both channels. So yep. keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be so. great. Stay tuned. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching Show of the Weekend. Thank you, Jane, for being an excellent guest and telling us so much about Doom, and for rendering Doom guys. Uh, attractively ripped uh, armor, as it's uh, as it has never been seen. Attractively ripped in, in every sense. Yeah. 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 Attracti attractively <laughs> ripped and attractively torn. That's what's going on here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. Goodbye. With your eyes, goodbye, Doom guy.